Now metaphase is the next stage of mitosis. Now what happens here is we already know that the spindles are attached to the chromosomes. So what's going to happen is that those spindles are actually going to head to opposite ends or poles of the cell. So as this happens, go ahead and draw a spindle on this side of the cell and one goes on the completely opposite side. And we already know, like I said, that these arms are attached to the chromosomes. So let me go ahead and draw some arms, draw the chromosomes later. And these arms are going to be attached to these ones down here. Pretty cool looking spindles if you ask me. And as these spindles head to opposite ends or poles of the cell, what happens is it causes the chromosomes to line up in the middle or the equator of the cell. So let me go ahead and draw my chromosomes and I think I'm going to draw these in you know separate colors. I'll draw blue and I'll draw a blue one over here and I'll draw a red one in the middle. So as you can see since, and actually let me pick one more color, since this spindle right here is pulling on them this way and this spindle down below is pulling on them this way what happens is that since the spindles are on opposite ends or poles of the cell it causes the chromosomes to line up in the exact middle or equator of the cell so that's basically what metaphase is the spindles head to opposite ends or poles of the cell and they tug on the chromosomes and whenever they're tugging on them it causes them to line up in the middle or equator of the cell that's all metaphase is, so now we can go ahead and move on to the next phase, which is anaphase. Anaphase. So during anaphase, let me go ahead and draw my cell again. Here's my cell right here, and we already know that the spindles are on opposite ends. So here's a spindle, here's a spindle, and we already know that they were pulling on the chromosomes. But now that they pulled on them, they actually pulled them so hard that it caused them to separate. So whenever, and I think I had a blue one on the left and a blue one on the right, and I think I had a red one in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. So what happened is those spindles pulled on those chromosomes so hard that they separated into two sister chromatid. Now remember that I said that these chromatid right here and right here are 100% identical to each other and what happens is they split apart and they go to opposite sides of the cell. Now what's going to happen eventually is that this cell is going to split in half and whenever the split's in half each new cell will have one copy of each DNA molecule and you know I don't want to jump ahead of that but that's basically what, what's going to happen after the cell divides. So basically we're going to have two new cells, one on this side and one on this side and each new cell is going to have DNA identical to the other cell or the original cell. So you know we're getting ahead of ourselves but that's what anaphase is. Basically when the chromosomes separate so that two sister chromatid identical to each other, this one and this one are identical to each other, are on each side, opposite sides of the cell. So the next phase is called telophase. T-E-L-O phase. So telophase is kind of cool because, actually let me go ahead and draw, this is actually the funnest diagram to draw, kind of looks like a wavy figure eight kind of looking thing. Basically what happens is the cell gets ready to divide by forming two new nuclear membranes around the chromosomes. So we'll draw the chromosomes, you know, we have a blue one right here, and we have a couple blue ones right here, and I think we have a red one, right like that. And I forgot what uh, color I drew my nuclear membrane. Let's go ahead and draw it blue. So basically what happens in telophase is the cell is going to form two new nuclear membranes around the chromosomes. So one here and one here. Another thing that happens is these chromosomes are going to uncoil or decondense. Basically what happens in the DNA during interphase is going to happen in telophase. So these are going to look like this. They're going to decondense, decondense, and I guess we have some red ones in there too. 
and then it's going to start to spread out into the uh, you know original DNA form. And the last thing that happens is the mitotic spindles, they're done doing their job. The job of a mitotic spindle is to pull apart the chromosomes. So now that they did that, we no longer need them anymore, so those are going to break down or dissolve. So here we have it, and I guess I'll draw it with little arms. I guess, you know, that's the symbol of breaking down and dissolving. So eventually, these mitotic spindles are going to disappear. So let me just go ahead and draw this little separator line right here. And that's what telophase is. Again, one last time, telophase is a last stage of mitosis. Now you're saying, okay, wait a minute, but I'm looking at your diagram right now, and this cell isn't broken apart yet. Well the section of uh, cell division whenever it breaks apart is, is called cytokinesis technically mitosis is just the splitting of the nucleus in the DNA and that's what people get confused about because remember interphase is when the cell is going about its daily business and cytokinesis is when it actually splits apart into two cells but these are not stages of mitosis itself mitosis only has remember four stages prophase metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So to recap one last time, telophase is when the cell gets ready to divide. It hasn't divided yet, but it's getting ready to divide. And it does this by forming two new nuclear membranes around the chromosomes. Another thing it does is the chromosomes inside the nucleus are gonna decondense or spread out around the nucleus. And the last thing that happens is these mitotic spindles, we have no use for them anymore. They're gonna dissolve disappear and they're going to form again whenever you know the cell cycle repeats itself and we need them again. So that's what telophase is and in the next tutorial we're going to be talking about cytokinesis which is the last part of cell division where the cell right here is actually going to split apart. So thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then.